Okay. Good on traffic, 3 approach on Mike, uh, taking runway 10, 10. Okay, Charlie, Mike, taking runway 10, Charlie, Mike, taking runway 10, Charlie, Mike, taking Runway one zero confirm. One zero. Thanks, confirm here. Check the wind so I can make move the ailerons if necessary. Yeah. Into the wind. Twenty three hundred up here. This way, when you get to the building with the three flat roofs, turn even if you haven't reached 700 feet. Fairly steep. About 25 to 30 degree bank angle turn. Alright, we just had an engine failure. 45 degree bank angle turn. 70 knots. Back to the runway. Put in some flap. Put in some more flap. Tip to traffic, uh, Cessna 3 Fox from Mike is uh, a simulated engine failure landing on runway 28 at Tipton. Uh, Carbine out, mixture off, switches off, door off, flaps off, power off. Just by S turn, altitude. Slipped for the rest of that altitude. Believer out of you. I need to learn how to do that quickly. You you do need <laughs> to learn how to do it. I agree. I agree. It's not, it's not, it's not going to come to you naturally, but it can be done. It involves managing the aircraft's energy by controlling the speed and controlling the amount of flap that you use in order to increase the drag, so you don't the wind just blow you beyond the end of the runway. <laughs> 